Okay, that was for spacing. Here's my super quick tutorial for the Hubson X4107L, I believe it is. So the key is, you know, it's good to practice with the propeller guard on. You take the propellers off first, so on and so forth. And if you don't know, um, these are the counterclockwise propellers, and these are the clockwise, the uh, manner in which they spin. Hope this is high enough. Um, so just pay attention that these should be identical, and so should these. And you'll see if you put them on the ground, um, this side of this one and this one will face down, whereas this one and this one, it'll face up. Uh, that's all, but it's always the first thing to check if the thing just doesn't seem to want to get up in the air. So the first thing you do, um, if you're going to use the prop guard, is plug in the, um, the battery on the drone itself before turning on the radio, the transmitter. Now if you're not going to use the prop guard, it's a different story, but we'll get to that another time. It's actually kind of fun to fly with the prop guard on because you can fly it pretty well inside and if you hit something, well, you hit something. And I feel a lot of things, and uh, nothing really seems to break. So, it lights up, it's on. He's just waiting for uh, a friend to give him some direction, and I'm about to be that friend. So the key here is, before you turn on the transmitter, this little control button down here, you hold it in. So you just hold it in, and you turn it on. Maybe I let it go about now. Yeah, he just blinked, and now his lights are steady on the ground. I know you can't see him. So that's all I had to do. And now um, there's some kind of neat control displays. If he goes a little to the left or a little to the right, you can go back and forth with this and get him to more of a stable position. To get him up in the air, hold this up. And it takes a couple seconds. And um, get him to about a point of what you want. Now, for a pretty inexpensive drone, he's got a pretty impressive uh, ability to hover in place. And as you can see, he feels the need to come back at me. Maybe he wants a hug or something. But I can adjust that with this button here. And he doesn't know. He's not coming back anymore. He's just going a little bit to the left. So I hit this one down here, which is for the right and the left, and maybe one more to the left. And, you know, to get them perfect, you know, for something like this that's, again, pretty inexpensive, it's, it's pretty darn neat that it can kind of hover at the same height. It'll go up and down just a little bit, but I, I don't know, I'm pretty impressed by this thing. Usually you find that in the more expensive drones. Um, I mean, this guy obviously far from perfect, but he flies pretty good. And with this model, uh, I'm thinking it's somewhere around, I think it's about seven minutes, six, seven minutes of battery life. Oh, so he's in low. So he flies pretty slow. And I believe the left stick, you push it down and you hear the double beep. And now he flies faster. So now uh, hold your horses. Wait till you get uh, you know technologically advanced at this, just like myself. Um, I do offer lessons at three hundred fifty dollars an hour. I don't actually have any clients, so I've got a lot of openings right now. Um, but that's it. I mean, pretty simple to use. And if you want to go back into slow mode, you hit that again so you get the one B fast mode. You'll hear the two beats, pushing that stick in. And sometimes he'll, his uh, ability to maintain his hovering will go off a little bit. He'll fluctuate up and down a little bit, kind of like what he's doing right now. But it's pretty minimal. I mean, I, I, I generally like to haunt my wife when she's in the shower. I, I get a lot of entertainment out of that. So I, I recommend that for guys with wives out there. Uh, so before I bore everyone with tears, that's really all there is to know to get them in the air and flying. Hope you found something useful with that.